Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rosie, and I want to give you my book review for Alita Ford's Living Like a Runaway. I picked up the book on Amazon.com, and Lita has always had a special place in my heart. When I was 15 years old, I started getting an allowance from my mom when she got a better job, and we went to Kmart one day, and I wanted to buy some music. So the first two cassettes that I ever had were No Rest for the Wicked by Ozzy Osbourne and Lita Ford's Stiletto. When I got Stiletto, I learned that album front to back. I learned every lyric, every guitar lick, everything. I mean, it. I just had fun learning it. And I loved that cassette. I listened to it all the time. And eventually, I was able to get it on a CD and still loved it. So, Lita was one of the first people that I listened to. Now, before I knew who Lita Ford was, I was a Joan Jett fan. I loved me some Joan Jett. I still do to this day. As a matter of fact, I have been known to say that if I had girl crushes, that she would be my girl crush, but I don't have girl crushes. Um, but I love Joan Jett. And um, I remember one day thinking, wouldn't it be so cool if Joan Jett and Lita Ford performed together? And then years later, I learned about The Runaways, and there's Joan Jett singing Mama, We're All Crazy Now, which I first heard from Quiet Riot, actually. And then there's Lita Ford, and I was like, wow, that is so cool. I never knew that they were in a band together because I didn't. No one ever told me. So, you know, I came into the rock game in the late 80s, early 90s, so you didn't hear much about the Runaways at that time. I didn't know about their um, documentary. I have to find it so I can look at it. But I didn't know until years later, so I'm sorry. But anyways, I digress. I read the book, and it was a fun read. I loved reading her rock star stories, her tour stories, stories about recording her albums during her solo years. I just loved it. Um, It was fun. It was quirky. There was some sad moments, of course and um, some confusing moments. Um, What got on my nerves was how she kept saying she was a girl guitar player and how people said girls don't play guitar and and I mean she just kept throwing it in your face that she's a chick who can shred and it's like Lita we know okay we know you play the guitar very well and you happen to have two breasts and a vagina we know so that can get kind of annoying it's very obnoxious but other than that it's a very good read I was confused about her story about her marriage to Jim Gillette whom she did not name out of respect for her boys and she didn't go into huge detail about her marriage But you look at old pictures of her with Jim Gillette, her ex-husband, and James and Rocco, her sons, and they seemed very happy together. And one time on Twitter, she went into very gory, disgusting, graphic detail about a night of sex with her husband. I mean, she told everything. You can find it online now. I did. I read it just last night, actually. And it was nasty. And the next thing you know, you're reading that they're getting a divorce. And that she was physically attacked by her sons. And and that they were egged on by their dad. And then you hear Jim Gillette and James Gillette saying that she was crazy. And that she needs professional help. And that she used to beat the boys and they never want to see her again. And... It, and that she never owns up to, to the things that she's done to them. And it's like you don't know what to believe. 
because if it seems like she's being very truthful and that she loves her sons and wants and just wants to see them again and they seem to just like despise her and never want to see her again so you just don't know which side to choose so I chose not to choose a side because I wasn't there I don't know what happened I don't know if she really beat her sons I don't know if she was really that violent so I don't know what to believe but you know all of that put aside Lita Ford is a very talented guitar player I love her music I love her songs you know I grew up on her she was one of the ones who got me through high school and I just loved her and so it was very interesting to read her book just like it was to read about Bobby Brown and Stephen Piercy and um, well I'm not gonna bring up that other book I, I hate that book anyway if you love Lita Ford if you are a rock fan if you are a Lita Ford fan pick up this book you will not be sorry I give it four and a half stars and that's only because of the confusion of her marriage and how it got on my nerves how she kept bringing up being a chick who can shred we know but other than that it's a fun read I think you'll enjoy it because I did so with that being said you guys I'm gonna go I love you guys very very much and I hope to see you on the next upload bye